Hey guys, Brian here and Bailey. Welcome back to Bailey's Doghouse. Or is it this old barn shop? Or maybe someday it'll be my shop. Anyway, uh, working on insulation and it's time to make a thing for a January update. Uh, month's about over and I should probably show you what's been going on here this month. So let's take a look. What do you think, Bailey? Is it good? Ah, it's nap time. Always nap time. So as you can see, looks like I've got m most of a wall done. On that side over there, I've got the insulation in, all of the big holes. I've got to do the odd cuts still, which I'm going to use up all those cutoffs from the rest of it to do that. So the pile of insulation has gotten slightly smaller. I've also been working up there. Uh, start up high, that's where the heat goes first, right? So I've been getting that packed in, doing those sections. I've got uh, almost three quarters of that done and uh, in one row. So I guess that's a quarter, that's not even a quarter of that wall done, but it is progress. And uh, show you here, it's kind of surprising how much of a difference it makes. Of course, we still got the uh, 4,500 watt heater over there cranking away, keeping the floor from freezing. It's below freezing outside right now, it's, it's snowing. And there's the concrete temp, 59. It was warm here yesterday, so it's up. Let's take a look over here at the wall of insulation. It's a tall wall. But I found this interesting. Showing roughly 42 degrees on this insulation. And we're like 33 degrees on the outer wall. So even though there's no real heat in here to speak of, we're still managing to bring the temp up almost 10 degrees. So a little insulation goes a long way. I was surprised at that result. Yeah, 30. Come right over here on the wall, and 41, so 10 plus degrees. Also, I've been, uh, as I go along, any of the gaps in the siding, I fill in with spray foam to keep it nice. The critters won't be living in my walls keep them out and uh, just a lot of cutting and fitting it's looking pretty good so far I'm satisfied that I've got good tight seals on everything where there won't be wind blowing in around my outlets I gotta move that one down there I changed my mind about how these were mounted and uh, put a two before behind them it makes the outlet a lot stiffer than just screwing through the side of it. These uh, don't move anymore. So I'm gonna do the rest of them that way. That also spaces them out. So when I put three quarter plywood on the inside of this wall, they'll be flush. Bailey likes that. So lots of cleaning still left to do. We've still got pit building materials in here to burn up over the winter. I've been sawing them up and throwing them in the fireplace in the house and burning them as I go. Still got that transmission case job. I'm kind of hoping I can get the boring mill moved in here and uh, use it to do that. I think that'd be the best machine for doing that deep hole repair and that. And that uh, be as soon as I can get weather to do it. It's either super muddy or too cold for the truck to start. So hopefully one of these days it'll dry out. Right now, it's uh, you walk outside, you sink to your knees almost. But still got quite a bit of insulation to go and 
And when I get all this put in, I still got uh, two more full pallets to go get to finish this out. So, eating it up. There's the drill. Still hadn't fallen in half yet, so I'm kind of happy about that. It's been through a lot of cold weather and temperature swings up and down, going from you know zero one day to 50 or 60 the next day. And so far it's hanging in there, so that's good. Air compressor's still working after the rebuild, so that's also good. And other than that, I guess that's about it. Of course, I think last time I mentioned I'd fix that one shop light that was out. That's why we're nice and well lit in here, except for over there where there still needs to be a run of lights once I get the ceiling done, which will probably be next. I'm not sure if I'll do the ceiling next or the wall plywood. I guess it just depends on money and what comes first. And I think Bailey is ready for bed, so I think I'm gonna call today and hit it again next time I get a chance. Well, that's gonna be it for this month's video on the update on the barn shop. Uh, made some progress, not the most it could have been, but uh, a little's better than nothing, I guess. So I'm gonna keep plugging away at it. And uh, got several jobs in the shop I still gotta finish up too, so I'll be working on them and there'll be some videos intermixed with that as well. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll catch y'all later.